Yes, I'm good. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So we're having a meeting next week. A meeting again? Oh, yes. Okay, that's fine. I'll avail myself. These people in these meetings, I'm even going to run rock or become very poor because I don't even have time to do my own income generating projects. Now I'll have to make my business and go attend these meetings. Yes, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Anthony of uh, Paul Kamoya, Tanzania. And I welcome you all in Tanzania. And, uh, Thank you. Yes, uh, we arrange this meeting only to hear uh, from, uh, from my fellow uh, beneficiaries and uh, we want to hear from you, our funders. Okay. So I'd like to start with uh, my fellow beneficiary, uh, Anne from Kenya. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, thank you so much, Anthony, for this opportunity. Uh, Samuel and George, thank you for availing yourselves. I'm Anne and my organization is based in Kenya, which is Together We Can. Yeah, that is the name of my organization. Oh, well, um, I'm Mike. Mike from Uganda. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Have you brought us some bananas? We are Uganda. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of bananas for us. So oh, I believe from here we're going to get some. We should think about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. First of all, this thing about the, the whole thing on grants is really taking up my free time. And it doesn't make any sense to me. And um, the fact that I'm not able to do much with the little time I have, it's really frustrating. And allow me to ask, are you saying that the grant is taking a lot of your time? Can you kindly elaborate more on that? That there's nothing much you can do in our organization with grants that are supposed to last for one year. Let me give you an example. We happened to do a project that was uh, a four-year project with one-year grant. So that simply means that we used little money to perform more duties. Being, if you are being honest to one another, it doesn't really add up and it's really consuming a lot of my time and uh, we, we have to do like extra, extra, extra work. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and it's very correct. Yeah? Uh, there's a case at the moment we are handling here. Yeah. And uh, the case should have uh, taken about a year. But unfortunately, it took almost six years uh, for the perpetrators who raped the gun to be caught. What? So you see, it took a lot of time. What? Yes. It's a pity. Okay, just yeah, uh, Yes, so I have something to say about grant. Uh, yes, a grant amount which has really made us feel like quitting. Yes. Okay, okay, yes. go on, Anthony. Go on, Anthony. Uh, yes, uh, so now, you see, there are some things that uh, I'll be frank with you too. Okay. First. Okay. See, the grant amount that we are given by this, uh, this funder are so little that there is nothing much they can do with it except for just meetings that are rushed and do not realize the intention. Uh, these small grants cannot attain change to a significant measure. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> let, let, me, let me just tell you one thing, guys. I know you're going, a lot of, you're going through a lot of pressure. And we're also going through the same, same amount of pressure. Yeah. I'm just looking at this report, and uh, if, if you just check the numbers quite well, you can see that you're also passing through the same situation. It's hard to get money from our donors because you get it and then we send it back to you. George, let me tell you. Yeah. Some of our funders have been very flexible and very understanding. Okay. But some of them have been so rigid. Um, you see, some decisions uh, have been so rigid about some decisions and expenditures. Like, right now we are stuck and we are very delayed. Yet we have projects that we are supposed to be implementing. There are projects which are stagnant, we are supposed to be implementing and, uh, and uh, 
they are stagnant because the fans be very flexible and understanding with us but most of them are so rigid and uh, they are holding back fans for example uh, we have a fan we have funders who are rejecting our proposals for funds and uh, this is causing stagnation for funds and that means projects are on hold we are supposed to these projects are supposed to be continuing we are supposed to implement them uh, and to finish them on time listen listen matter you know, every fund has their own policies Don't and it depends on how and where they get their funds from get it our policy is very strict very very strict Get it? Yeah. It is very strict. And we spend money and help back. Ah, they are the ones who report to. We are the ones who report to them. You see? It's okay, sir, but let me finish and uh, let me explain my point further. Um, I understand that. But you see, some of the funders have even gone to the extent of trying to impose their own ideas on our own project designs. Um, and th they do not consider our country's context. Can you imagine that we have had to reject funders who force us to do the violent and militant style of advocacy? It just does not work on our context. Being violent would take us all either to jail or exile. Uh, yes, you are correct, son. You see, uh, no. such funders are taking us for uh, no, 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 no. Don't say we're taking it for granted. Please don't yeah. say that. How can we finance you guys and at the same time you're coming and saying that you're taking it for granted? How now? Yeah, because, for example, I and Samuel, we're still answerable to the people who give us the, these finances. Mm -hmm. the, the bodies that give us money, the government. It's, it's not something that's easy for us to. Well, how I wish, how I wish you know the trouble that we go through. Uh, it is very, uh, under, the, under these tough conditions. We, we, we know, we, we understand these mm. things. We understand them. Trust me, we do. Guys, let's be realistic here, yeah? We found that usually need your report so that we confirm if, if we are in the right track or you are in the right track of what we are doing. Yes. But well, you have to understand that we are very exhausted by approaching the demands of uh, funders. Yes. And uh, they ask us to write I mean, a report and request uh, for installments every, every three months. I mean, every three months. Yeah? And you see, that is too much since we spend so much time. Uh, we spend so much time from our busy schedules just to fulfill their reporting uh, requirements. Yes. Uh, so whatever I say, we, we need to be realistic. With this, what you are doing, because again, and I repeat, the fund which we usually gives you will be some have a report of it, so that we may know if you are in the right track of what we give you. Uh, that's the simple. Uh, 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 sir, yeah. uh, we are not against the reports. You see, we know reports are the only avenue for creating and cementing trust from our funders. Though this installment report is really touching us from our daily duties. Uh, well, uh, okay. But do you not trust us to do the right thing without you always checking? Yes, uh, and by the way, sir, we really are fed up with being trained each, every, every now and then. Some of these trainings are even irrelevant. Really? Yes, can you imagine? There are some trainings that we were given like six years ago. Mm -hmm. Today we are being given the same exact training. How is that supposed to be of use to us? It's irrelevant and things are changing. Times are changing. These things just consume our time for no reason, as I had stated. Yes, thank you. Uh, the same thing we are trained in the last six years is the same thing we are being retrained today. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, and I, I think I think they should be asking us about what we are up to date with, with, with what they want. Yes. Uh, yeah, another thing. Huh? Another thing adding on that. Our funders are holding us at ransom. They want to dictate each and every step we, we do. Each and everything, each, each and everything we do, they wanna dictate all of that. But, but, uh, How fair do you think that is? But also, you, with with the position that you have as the people who are doing the things on the ground, you can hold these funders accountable when things go wrong. Yes. Well, um, how can you hold them accountable? 
uh, when they are going to give us money. Yeah? What would happen if they are angry and refuse to give us? Okay, okay. Yeah, you understand okay. also. Okay, Mike, and allow me to say this. Huh? We've heard your cries, we've heard about the things that you're going through. We hold meetings, and trust me, guys, things will be smoothed out. Yeah. So just have trust in us. Are you okay with that? Uh, oh, we are talking. Okay. Personally, I'm going to give you a benefit of doubt. Make sure that every complaint we put in place, you look into it. Okay, no problem. Consider it done.